Russia pays Ukraine about $100 million a year to lease these port facilities in Sevastopol, a city on the Crimean Peninsula that was transferred from Russia to Ukraine in 1954. Moscow has signed an agreement with Kiev to withdraw the fleet in 2017, but wants an extension, something Ukrainian leaders have rejected. Yet Russia is not preparing the expensive infrastructure needed to house the fleet in its own Black Sea ports. Sergei Kolik of the independent Nomos think tank in Sevastopol says it makes little difference militarily where the fleet is located. The Black Sea fleet is a political component as a factor of political pressure, political influence, and for Russia it is important to keep it in Crimea on the territory of Ukraine. Russians say they built Sevastopol and defended it against invaders. But Sergei Kolik notes many Ukrainian military units, as well as soldiers and sailors of other nationalities, fought for Sevastopol on behalf of the Russian Empire and the USSR. Russians today form a majority of Crimea's population. Gennady Basov represents the Russian bloc in the Sevastopol City Council. He notes the fleet's economic significance. More than 20,000 family members of Russian Navy personnel, citizens of Ukraine, work in the fleet's infrastructure. In addition, it's no secret that the Black Sea Fleet provides considerable funds for the city's economic and social development. Basov condemns the support Ukrainian authorities in Kiev gave to Georgia and accuses them of turning Crimea into a potential conflict zone. Valery Chali, an analyst with the independent Razumkov Center think tank in Kiev, says hostilities over Crimea are unlikely, but notes that Russia has other means to influence Ukraine. There can be conflicts and increased tensions involving information. Russia can also use the capacities of the Black Sea Fleet, which not only has ships, but also intelligence and information capabilities. In addition, there is the physical presence of Russian citizens with dual citizenship on the sovereign territory of Ukraine. During the Georgian conflict, Russia used the issue of dual citizenship as a pretext for entering sovereign Georgian territory. Councilman Basov denies Moscow is issuing Russian passports to Ukrainian citizens, despite widespread reports to the contrary. Some estimates put the number of such passports issued as high as 2,000 per year. Surveys by the independent Rosumkov Center think tank in Kiev indicate more than 70 percent of Ukrainians do not feel threatened by Russia. But Viktor Konstantinov, an international relations professor at Kiev State University, says it does not take many people to spark unrest. Not many people are needed who would want to take up arms. All that is needed is a few dozen extremists on both sides, and they can start a conflict over stark differences in society. Ukraine's differences with Russia include language as well as Kiev's approach to the EU and possible NATO membership. Analysts say Moscow could be tempted to exploit these issues, which are festering most openly in the Crimea, as long as Ukrainians themselves remain divided over them. Peter Fedinsky, VOA News, Sevastopol.